Hello everybody, welcome back to the farm. Well, I've got I've got this tree cut down. I got did I cut that other one? Yeah, I cut that other one down. I decided. So the council gave us that remember the council gave us the okay to go ahead and clear off some trees from here. But they said that we had to leave ten per hectare. <clears throat> this isn't quite a full hectare field. But we're going to go ahead and leave 10 trees. But I decided I'd kind of take it a tree type at a time. So I thought about it and I was like, you know, I could just go ahead and pull a bunch of birch out. Maybe. And then pull a bunch of the maple and I don't know what the other ones are. Just kind of pull them out in groups. And then... Um, I think that will work. I hope that'll work. But we're going to go ahead and use the styre, hopefully, to pick some of this up. Oop. Get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? I got it. Oh, it's not going to hold it very well. <sighs> okay. Well. <laughs> Just gonna fall out the side. Well, all right. Let's let's do it this way. We're gonna we'll just take this stuff and put it closer, I guess. The crane the crane will work with this stuff. Ooh. Actually, this log should work. Never mind. <laughs> all logs hate me. All of them. They don't want to go. They don't want to go. Yep. <laughs> All right. Get out. 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 Hmm. Yeah, like it was a lot easier my other job. But we won't. We we don't need to talk about that quite yet. We we we've got plenty of time to talk about some of the stuff I've done. Right now, I need to get this. Because my goal here is to, um, well, that didn't do diddly. There we go. My goal is to maybe not right away, but soon enough here. I want to um, buy this field and go ahead and get it all plow down. Maybe not all. I mean, I'll probably leave some trees. But I want to get this field ready. I want to go ahead and um... Just gonna miss that. Alright. Ah! It'd be easier. I, I should just I should just get out of the tractor and go pick it up. <laughs> It'd be so much easier. Alright, we're gonna leave those little ones for the claw. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's just stop messing around with this thing. Are we good there? We're good there. All right. Let's start with uh, this. There we go. And close. Close. <laughs> Tighter. Close tightly. But my goal is to, uh, as quickly as possible, get this field cleared. And then we'll have two fields planted at a time. Now, I do appreciate those of you that wrote in about to the TV station about plowing. I'm going to go ahead and continue plowing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plow before every crop. Just kind of turn everything over. I think that'll uh, I think that'll be okay. And it's not like we have a huge farm or anything. So, a little bit of time plowing. I don't think it'll hurt. Now, if we start owning the, you know, the entire Bjornholm area, we might have to think about what we're doing a little bit more. But right now, right now, I think we'll be okay. 
All right, that should be all of that. Okay, let's just go ahead and get this closer. Yeah, so once we own all of Bjorn home, then we're then we have a problem that we need to address of uh, how we handle the entire entire district. But I don't think we're you know <clears throat> I think it's gonna take a long time, if ever, before we're in that kind of position. And I don't know. I I kind of like the uh, spending time here and dealing with the. The trees, the guys over at the, uh, guys over at the lumber mill, they're really nice. I enjoy going over there a lot. Don't, why do you just, uh, I need to, I need to do something about the claw here. I'm not sure what exactly, but I need to do something about it. This is kindly. Not the best at holding on to these small branches. Not sure what to do about it, though, quite honestly. Go. Okay. It holds on to them when I don't want it to hold on to them, and then it likes to go when I... Okay, well. It's okay. It's okay. Now, the canola is coming in. So, hopefully soon, we'll have our first canola crop. That should pay nicely. And then we'll kinda we'll kinda decide from there if we if we continue with canola or maybe we I'm thinking I need to rotate. I'm thinking I need to rotate the crop. Cause that's just that's just a smart thing to do. And I'm thinking barley is the next most logical thing. Because we we've done. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see here. We did. We did wheat. We've we got canola on there now. And then what else? Then barley. Now I c I could like a potatoes, but. Now I'll have a planter for, I think I have a planter. Do I have a planter for potatoes? No, I think that's a planter for sugar beets. One of those. <clears throat> I don't have a harvester. And I'm not really, I don't really want to spend the money for a, <laughs> for a new one. I mean, I've got one harvester, it harvests a wheat crop. It's just, you know, <clears throat> let's make our, let's make our money there. And then after we've made a good bit of money, then we'll look at um, then we'll look at maybe potatoes or sugar beets. Uh, now, a friend of mine, he told me I should uh, I should look at getting in some uh, some dairy cattle. Now, I told him about Mr. Scratchers and Mr. Scratchers' friends. They are producing eggs, by the way. Um, I told him about that, and he said, "Well, that's all well and good, but." Eggs won't make the money that cows will. I have knackered up that log, but as long as it stays put, I really don't care. Good. Good. <clears throat> so, yeah, he told me that, that the money in cow is much better than the money in chicken. You know, I respect my friend a lot, <clears throat> so I'm thinking, you know, if, if he thinks there's a lot of money there, I probably need to think along the line of considering, considering doing it. But there's a lot of work involved in cow, I've heard. I mean, you gotta, you gotta feed them all kinds of special and got to vaccinate them. I mean, I don't know why a cow needs vaccinations, but apparently a cows need vaccinations and yeah. 
There's a bunch of things that, you know, you don't usually think about. But apparently you need to think about if you have cow. Okay, that... That one that we put in is now annoying me. I want... What are you... Are you walking off the back? You are, aren't you? Alright, I need to grab this one here. It's not grabbing it. That's missing it. There. Need you up, over, in. Nope, nope, nope. Egg helmet. There. Down. No, 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 no. Come on. Like so. There we go. That's better. Now let's fix this one that's now been messed up by my screwing around with the other one. Okay. Did I just... Am I picking up two now? I am. Okay. Okay. Now I got one. I do. Okay. You're just You're just going to be ornery, aren't you? You're going to be an ornery birch tree. Nobody likes an ornery birch tree. It's truth. It's the truth of nature. Don't be a birch. There. And out. Perfect. Look at that. We're going to have ourselves a, a nice little load of birch trees. Now, the other thing I want to do, I did get a call saying that somebody had posted a job. I wanted to see if they posted a job that we can actually do. So I might take a break here and go get the, put the front loader for, forks on the stire. And why do you have to do that? Why do you have to roll in a strange way that makes no logical sense? You are an illogical log. There. Now, behave. Thank you. Man, these logs, I tell you what. All right, let's rotate that. Can I? Nope. Out some more. Hmm. And... Ah, I like that. That works. Just grab it, pull it back, then drop it so I can get it in a good spot, right in the middle. Kind of like, kind of like how you scratch a cat in just the right spot, and it, it like tilts its head all kinds of funny angles, and just like you can tell their eyes are rolling back in their head. Yeah, it's sort of the same thing. Have you not done that with your cats? go. Alright, so we got two there and one there. Oh no, we got more than that. Yeah. Okay. Oops, oops, oops. Not the, um, I'm not the greatest loader guy here. I mean, I, I operated cranes a lot doing various jobs. Which, which Quite honestly, now, telling you a little bit about myself, I guess. Now, of course, I told you my dad was a banker. My mom, she was, she was a nurse. Then she became a teacher. She taught English because, you know, we are living in Europe and she's an American and she speaks English. And so, yeah, that was that was easy for her. Well, my dad was a banker, so we, you know, he had some thoughts about what I was going to be in life. Being a banker being, well, sort of the top of the list. All right, what do we have? We've got that and those. Okay, I'll get the other truck for that. Let's, uh, let's take the styre, switch out the forks, <clears throat> and then we'll, uh, 
We'll go see if anybody has any jobs for us. How about that? Oh, now, my, my, I uh, say my dad, he was, uh, he was a banker. And he thought, well, the best thing for me to be was a banker. Because that's what he was and that's what he knew. But I didn't like it. The whole idea of being a banker. Mm -mm. No, thank you. So, I did a bunch of things. I, I did a lot of odd jobs. Let me hit my glasses here. Come on. Wait, where's, the, where's the button? Where? There it is. All right. So, we're going to go right around there to the job board. All right. Get my hand on the button that time so I knew where it was. And flail around, you know? So, I did a bunch of jobs that made him upset. <laughs> he wanted me a bait be a banker and I didn't want to be a banker and well sometimes you just got to follow your dreams and sometimes if you don't know what your dream is well you just got to follow your gut because sometimes your gut will tell you exactly what you need to do with yourself sometimes your gut will lead you astray but you just got to learn which is which all right where's the job board Ah, there it is. All right, let's see if we got anything. Let's see. No. No running missions. And 34 tons of wheat. Yeah, no. Nope, nope. And 75 tons of barley. I don't think so. Hmm. Well, anyway, so what I was saying was, uh, should we? Hmm. I noticed one of those jobs is getting ready to expire soon. I'm kind of wondering if we should just kind of chill here for a minute. See if a different, different job will show up. Zero minutes left. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, nice light pole. Very gold. Very, uh, very light pole -y. Yeah. I approve of this light pole. Good job. By the way, this restaurant, whoo, they serve some good food. Now, there's some food at this restaurant that isn't on the menu. So that's the best stuff. But you got to know somebody who knows somebody. Once you get in the know, then you're good to go. But you got to know the person to get the point where you're in the know. Just saying. All right, let's see what we got here. Still zero minutes left. All right. What was I saying? Hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, I, I, I just followed my gut. And my gut told me I didn't want to be a banker. So, I decided I wasn't going to be a banker. And that kind of upset my dad. But, you know, in the long run, it, it worked out, I, I think. I don't know. Hmm. Alrighty. I'll just, I'm just going to hang out here. See if we can, uh, get something that we can do. Well, I waited and I went and had a little bite to eat and I got this really nice local beer back there at the restaurant. So I had a beer. Just a small one. It was just a little, little bit. So I'm still okay to drive the tractor. And then I drove down here and I did a little bit more work on the, on the, uh, birch trees. And then I drove back up there and then I drove back down here and then I drove back up there. And then finally I was like, you know what? <laughs> The one thing that they've asked, one thing that they posted, town council has asked that somebody do some mowing in town. It's like, well, that's the one thing I don't have is a mower deck. I'm just kind of pushing this stuff around here a little bit. Just a bit. Just to get a little bit closer. And maybe I can get both those in one. So what I was thinking was, I'll come over here. I'll finish loading up this thing. Stupid stick. Um, then we'll then we'll head down to the uh, 
to the logging, the logging place? No, the sawmill. To the sawmill. Can't see anything. Hmm. Uh, we'll head down to the sawmill. Sell our our trees. It's going to be three birch trees worth here. And oop. then we can uh, maybe look at picking up a mowing deck. We'll look for something that's small enough for the styre to handle. And then if we do that, then next uh, next time the council asks for somebody to do mowing, well, we'll be able to handle it. Because I went and checked. <laughs> you wouldn't believe. There was a guy down near... Down, uh, he's the next town over, actually. So he's he's not a local here at at uh, Bjornholm, but you know we all know about him and everything. He's kind of a silly character. Well, he heard we were looking for somebody to mow that that grass. You wanna know what that man suggested? He suggested, of all things, that we get a herd of goats in. Uh-huh. It's the most interesting looking thing I've ever seen, but okay. Come here. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I like all you. All right, I'll deal with you later. Um, I was feeling that some of the land around here might be possessed. Might need, like, um, I don't know, some sort of something to to deal with the, the apparently possessed things that are around here. Oh, my goodness. That is that is the weirdest thing I've seen in a long time. Let's see if we can push it over the styre. Yes, we can. We have success. All right. So we might need to um, maybe talk to the local priest, find out what in the world is going on around here. Good grief! I was gonna say maybe there's some Indian burial grounds, but then I was like, wait a minute, we we're not in the United States. Never mind. Hmm. Maybe it's ooh, maybe it's maybe it's an old druid mound. Maybe that's what that's what the problem is around here. <laughs> but maybe that could explain some of the weirdness that we've experienced. All right, I'm going to load these up, and then we're going to head to the, uh, the lumber mill. All right, here we are at the lumber mill. Let's go ahead and drop off our load of lumber. That's not all of it. Come on. Get on out of there. I see you. Thank you. All right, is that all of it? It is indeed. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, ask the guys to send the train on. Yeah. Go. All right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and head into town and look at uh, look at mower decks. So we can go ahead and get a. I think we can get a nice single mower deck. Work on the styre. We can carry it up to the farm with the. Uh, TTV here. And then we'll have a mower deck to handle all that cool stuff. Ooh, nice. Oh, little payday. <laughs> 60,000. All right. Ooh, almost ran over that. Oh, almost ran over that. City of probably town council will probably yell at me about that. All right, let's run over to the shop, get ourselves a mower deck. I think I can cut in here. I can. I don't have to deal with these guys. Oh well, I can and I can't all at the same time. Ah, here we go. Just a little bit of off-roading. It's all right. 
I did plenty of it. Here. All right. Let's go ask the guys what they got in the uh, in the shop for mower equipment. Let's see here. I got this little guy here, 70 horsepower. This requires 90. I like this one here. That requires 190. So this is 90 horsepower. Let's just check. What is the 114? Okay. Let's go ahead and pick up this one here, the FC3525F model. Cool. There we go. Very nice. Cool. That will work on the that will work on the TTV here. Nicely, I think. There we go. All right, that'll that'll be a good. Uh, so we can hook it up to the back of the styre, and that will allow us to help the city council or town council. I keep calling them the city council, but they're a town council. They're not. Now some of them are pretentious enough to be, think they're a city council, but they're not. They're a town council. I think I can cut off this guy. Yeah, I might cut him off. Looks like he was driving an Audi anyway. He's self-important, right? Okay. Well, I think we've got ourselves to the end of of this episode. It's not been a very amazing episode, I don't think. We cut down a couple birch trees. And we spent a lot of time at the uh, local restaurant. Having a second breakfast and a little bit of beer think she watered down the beer but it's just me I think she watered it down oh and look at that our canola is growing up uh, let's look at our canola really quick that is that is a beautiful beautiful looking crop we got coming in that is that is just gonna be gorgeous well next time we should be able to harvest this bumper crop it might not be a bumper crop, but we should be able to harvest it. I'll, uh, I'll work some more on the trees. Kind of clear this off a little bit more. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of watch, to see what the uh, town council wants in terms of things that they might post asking for people to do. Oh, oh, I thought it was a butterfly. It's not a butterfly. Okay, well, until next time, y'all be careful out there.